All right, guys, uh, we're joined now by Mitch Malloy, legendary rock star of all kinds of bands and music and solo stuff, but also uh, now the lead singer of Great White and yep. working on a huge Van Halen project. And yes. what caught my eye was uh, moving to coastal Alabama, where we where Biker Dad World Headquarters is and riding motorcycles. So thanks for joining us, Mitch. It's a pleasure to be here. And this this ring that I have on here, the first uh, uh, bike rally that Great White played, this one actually, that Great White played was in uh, Coral Springs, Florida, big, huge bike rally. And there's this big, and it was my, you know, my first time ever actually playing a bike rally because I never did it as a solo artist. So I didn't know what to expect it, if they would accept me because I like the new guy, you know, and there's this big dude like he looks like he's like seven feet tall he's probably not that big but he's this monster dude standing like this at the front <laughs> you know and i'm out there like doing my thing you know like Wah! and after a house of broken love the dude is so big like he could reach me right <laughs> he goes like this and he hands me his ring awesome so I wear this ring with a lot of pride. This is my, like, I've been accepted into Biker Nation. Like, that's kind of, I felt like I had been accepted into the family. Awesome. Like, yes. Yeah. And I've yeah, been, I, I love it's tough, my... like, standing in front of a, a skeptical crowd and, you know, when you're stepping yeah. in front of, in, in a legendary, yeah. another legendary yeah. band. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, it's, I haven't, I haven't experienced that much of that. You know, like, I expected more of that and that was a moment where he would for sure was like not you know not sold but he let me know when he was and it was like and the whole crowd saw it. i i put the ring on and i went and i went like this i went i just got a hell of a lot cooler and the place went ah! you know it was it was a moment man so ever since like the biker thing for me is you know solid so you so you ride yourself i actually don't i don't Cool. Yeah, I mean, I had a bad experience as a kid, and um, I always wanted to, and I used to beg my dad to buy me a bike when I was a kid, and he was like, no way, you'll kill yourself, <laughs> you know, and then I finally did get to, to ride, and I had a bad experience, so I kind of went, okay, that's all for that, and because I'm a little too crazy, yeah. like, I, I, like, I'm not afraid of speed, <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Can, yeah. I'm like... Sometimes it's smart when you're like that and you're not, you don't ride. Yeah, I'm not quite all there. So you got to be pretty careful out there on the road. Yeah. At least. yeah. So I drive a Range Rover, which is like a tank. You know, it's like, have you, ever, have you ever driven a Range Rover, but they're really solid, you know? So, so you moved, you if I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, but you recently moved to uh, coastal Alabama? Uh, no, I actually live in Destin, Florida. Okay. Which is, it's not, you know, people say, oh, you live in Florida. Like, I'm, I'm going to be in Miami. And I'm like, have fun. <laughs> you're yeah, I mean, 12 you're closer away. to Alabama than most of Florida. Yeah. So, yeah, I yeah. live in Alabama and you're less than two hours from where I am. So, yeah, yeah. It's I love actually where I live. I love it, man. Oh, it's gorgeous. Uh, have you been to Crab Island yet? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. You know, we go hang out there and uh, and they're actually supporting the show. They've been posting things about the show and and the area has really gotten behind gotten behind it you know the the uh, part of the proceeds go to Destin High School which is a new school and um you know it's it's powered by step one this show so my my lead sponsor is step one and I'm uh, working with Ford with them they have Maserati Ford and like they have every I think they have like 17 dealerships um, I saw Fernando last night, actually, he's my buddy. I was out, um, at, you know, watching a band and he was there and that's how I met him. He was just hanging out. He loves rock and roll guy, you know, he's the coolest guy ever. So, so there's the support locally has been just amazing. I'd never experienced it before anywhere else where I've lived. So, so. tell us about the show. It's an interesting uh, yeah. thing you're doing, especially right. with your connection with Van Halen. Yeah, so, you know, the Van Halen experience, you know, which I had, right? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, Ed, 
was amazing and very influential as a kid for me and then getting the call from him and you know them flying me out there and then him telling me I was in the band and then and then that not working out but us staying in touch and you know he used to call me and play for me over the phone like the phone would ring at midnight and it'd be ad and he'd be like <laughs> anybody who play for me over the phone oh my god oh. pinch me you know yeah so and he was just a sweet guy and um you know we were like brothers you know so so that is a real sad thing and 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 you know over the years, I mean, I spoke to Ed about doing this, you know, years ago. And he said to me, Mitch, I have your back, whatever you want to do. He was like, do whatever you want to do. Say so he, he trusted me, you know, he knew I wasn't going to be like some idiot, you know, saying, you know, bullshit or whatever, you know. Um, so, yeah, I mean, um, I, I, and then I've had, you know, because of that experience and then people find out because that, you know, Mitch Malloy, Benny and Lost Boy has been out there now for a while and that's gone viral. And so guitar players come to me like, <laughs> I get all the Eddie guys who are influenced by Eddie, which <clears throat> who better to be influenced by than Eddie, right? I mean, I love those guys and they're great. And they come to me and they're like, if you ever want to do something, you know, check it out. And there are so many good ones, you know. And then um, just after Ed passed, I got a pop up on my computer and it led me to a guy by the name of Pete Thorne, who I didn't really know, but he had done a deep dive into Eddie Van Halen's tone, right? And he did this big video about it and he's best buddies with Dave Friedman. Dave Friedman was one of uh, Ed's amp guys, like tweaked modded built ed's amps he was at 5150 with Ed a lot wow. you know so um they basically nailed his tone to the point where and he had just passed when they did this and i hadn't really his passing hit me obviously like it hit everybody but when pete started playing with the you know he had a guitar that sounded just like ed's and the amp that they created and everything, the whole sound, they duplicated it exactly. I actually started to cry because it was like Eddie was playing. Like it just, I don't know, it just hit me. So I reached out to Pete and I thought, you know, if he'll do this with me, because I've never heard anybody on this level, like this close to Ed, like it was just like, it freaked, freaked me out. Then I think I'd do something, you know, well, I would honor Ed. You know, because I could do it with this guy, you know, because it's really honoring Ed with this guy, at least in my opinion, to these ears and to this heart. And that and he and he said, yes. And I was like, oh, my God, really? Like, I didn't even know him. Apparently he but he knew who I was, you know, because he'd seen the, the Lost Boy video. And he knew like my I guess my uh, career a little bit. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of how it started. And then I got the, the drummer I wanted, the first guy I called. Wayne Killius, who won a, a Neil Pert, uh, he won a contest for a Neil Pert drum contest in 1987, and he won Neil's drums. The drums that Neil played on two albums and two tours were given to Wayne. So he's just an amazing drummer, right? And so he said yes, so he's the drummer. And then Dan Sprewald, who plays with Phil X and the Drills, Phil X replaced uh, uh, Richie Sambora in Bon Jovi. And uh, Dan is just a great bass player, great uh, singer, high harmony singer to do all the mic, you know, harmonies. And, you know, it's like when you've actually been at 5150 and you're standing there and Ed is here and Mike is there and Al is out in his drum, you know, uh, booth playing his drums. And you're, it's like you're making a record at 5150 with the band live. And the band is coming through the big monitors and you're like, wow, you know, you're doing Van Halen. It's hard to imagine doing it with anybody else when you've done it with them. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's never the same. I mean, I've played Great White just kind of for fun songs with other musicians that is never, <laughs> it's not Great White. You know what I mean? <laughs> but with these guys, I really think that it's the closest thing you could ever have. To, without somebody named Van Halen in the band, 
You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so I'm tell excited. Everybody, tell Super everybody excited. when and where this uh, show is. It's, it's October 9th, which is next Saturday, a week from today, next Saturday at Maddie Kelly Arts Village, which is a beautiful outdoor uh, venue. Um, big, nice, beautiful lawn. It's a big place. So there's lots of space. And um, yeah, uh, there's going to be two opening acts. And um, I think we'll probably go on at about 830. And you can get tickets at MitchMalloy.com, which is M-I-T-C-H-M-A-L-L-O-Y.com. And if you type in step one, which is the car dealer I was telling you about, if you type in step one, you get a $10 discount. So your ticket is $25. Awesome. So, and it's a big show. I've spent a fortune on the production. And I want, you know, I want people to look and go, wow, like it's been Haywood. Like, you know, it's yeah, not, awesome. of course, but yeah. Well, we'll put a we'll put a link in that information all in the description of this video when we post it on Facebook and YouTube. So awesome. it's easy for everybody to find. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to get the word out. I want people to know Van Halen fans, you know, this is uh this is gonna be a big, big Van Halen show and uh we're doing mostly Dave stuff because that's kind of what we grew up on. Yeah. Um, you kind of have that more voice it, on that. Yeah. That well, voice. the Sammy stuff is actually pretty easy for me. It's 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 easier to believe it, believe it or not. Yeah. Uh, but but and I love it too. But you know, you can only there's so much music, dude. Oh yeah. I mean, I pick 25 songs without a Sammy song. Wow. <laughs> So we had to whittle it down, whittle that down to like about 20. And then we included a Sam song because I just wanted to do one, you know? Yeah. And um, so that's going to, it's going to be a long, you know, it's a lot of songs. It's like a longer, probably a longer show than Van Halen actually played. Well, yeah. And for those who are watching or bikers, you know, this is a great place to ride to, to, to Destin, Florida. If, even if you're a couple oh. hours away, it's a great ride over there along the coast. And then to, see an awesome show and come back home on the bike that would be that would be awesome i would definitely come but i'm gonna be on the road to barber finish motorcycle festival next weekend so um, well yeah so any people who are local want to see some great rock and roll come on and it's going to be a blast and to go back to the guitar player pete thorne he he played with chris cornell oh yeah, yeah. and he pro yeah and he produced actually chris cornell and um played with don henley Oh. and uh, Melissa Etheridge and on and on. He's a session guy in LA and the drummer is a session guy in Nashville and uh, Dan is a session guy in LA. And, you know, these guys are like, you know, so this, this isn't a bunch of club guys with wigs. Yeah, they're, they're good, they're good. <laughs> this is a serious band. Speaking of serious bands, against club what's, guys with wigs. what's uh, next with Great White? Great White is booked, man. Woo! Like at, right after this gig, it's like boom, 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 boom. We're like boom, 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 all over the place. It's awesome. So Gray White is finishing off the year really strong, and things slow down for us in December, but uh, our October, November is pretty jam packed. And and the Gray White thing, if you guys haven't seen it, it's really fun, and we have a blast, and we're super tight. And you know, I've been now for three years. So it's really, really part of me, you know, and um, the shows are sort of like, it's sort of effortless, you know, because we're like a machine, you know, yeah. um, and uh, it's just, yeah, it's a blast. The crowds have been amazing. We just did um, um, in Maryland, uh, so Ocean City, Maryland. Yeah. Yep. yeah we had like seven thousand people i mean it was like you know like a really nice crowd yeah i was just in Myrtle beach last weekend there were some guys who went there and they were oh, talking cool. about your show so that's oh cool 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 yeah 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 they liked it, was, it a lot yeah it was a killer man the crowd was like wow you know i i love the bike fests it's some of the best stuff we do yeah and it's really good to have some a, a, a big awesome band there Sometimes, you know, the smaller rallies, the, the, it's not as great as that, but I've seen yeah. Great White a couple of times in different iterations, so I'm looking forward to seeing ah. you. I've been listening to a lot more of your music lately, and I think that I imagine that the voice is, uh, is great for those songs. People think of Once Bitten, Twice, Twice Shy, but Great, great White has a lot of great songs. Oh, and, man. Uh, Lady I, Red Light, House yeah. of Broken Love. I mean, Rock Me, of course. 
Yeah. Uh, Save Your Love, the bat, the big ballad. Yeah, I mean, it's a the show is a blast. It's it's it it's funny because I wasn't a huge Great White fan. You know, I mean, I knew Rock Me and Save Your Love, and I knew, of course, Why Shy and all, but that was kind of it. So when they called, I dug into their catalog, you know, and they kind of mapped it out like well this is kind of what we do live so i listened to those songs and i was like this is cool this is like a this is like a west coast aerosmith yeah that's kind of what it you know how it hit me and i was it's like i could fit good perfect rock music. yeah it's just american rock and roll and so yeah my voice i'm just an american rock and roll singer so it fits i don't sound like jack but it still works you yeah know? i think that's the way it works out best when you're in in a situation like that is not the the ones that are the most successful aren't the ones who try to sound exactly like the 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 person before them except yeah. for Bernie, of course That's a, well a, yeah and story. foreigner because those two guys just sound like them yeah like it's just it's a natural it's not like you know i mean yeah. i'm sure i'm sure their own styles are a little different than the people that they're singing but they can sing those guys almost you know it's like both of those guys are fantastic yeah. Yeah, the, the the especially the the journey story that the whole documentary. Yeah, crazy. Arnell and Arnell's a good dude. Like we're in touch on social media. He's a. I did a um, open arms video sitting here um, with my acoustic, just me and my acoustic, and uh, I sent him the link, and he he responded like privately, and he responded, and that's so now we. Uh, we're in touch and he was like super complimentary and i mean he's just a really cool guy he has no like ego that guy yeah. you know yeah absolutely yeah um, well what else do we need to know about the van halen show and and uh the and great white and um well i think that's about it i think you know the van halen show i think is going to be just i mean we're honoring ed and these guys are all uh, on another level as musicians they're like really at the top kind of at the top of the mountain these guys yeah. and they're all approaching it with so much respect like they just have thrown themselves to go deep into what van halen was and how they uh, like even to the drums the guitars everything all the parts how they felt how they played the songs how, you know, they're digging, they're session guys. So they have another level, you know, yeah. of, right, of talent and they're using it. And I just can't even wait. We start rehearsing um, on Monday and I, it's just going to be like, <sighs> yeah, I can't wait. So, so anyway, that, that's, that's about it. And, um, you know, hopefully uh, we'll get some bikers there and, and just whoever, you know, just Van Halen fans. You know, I mean, this is a Van Halen fan show. We're not playing a bunch of Van Halen hits. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? We are playing some Van Halen hits because you can't avoid some of them. But this is like a deep cut. This is like we're Van Halen fans. So and Van Halen wasn't really a hit band, at least especially with Dave. I mean, Jump, of course, and they had, you know, Run With The Devil and we're doing all that. But, you know, if you think about Van Halen, it's like we used to listen to those records. Like you put it on and you listen to it and you go, holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and then you listen to the other side. And you're like, oh, my God. You know what I mean? So that's kind of how this band is. We're like an album band. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Well, we'll, again, we'll put all the information. Just click the links in the description of the video to buy tickets and get the discount that Mitch was talking about. Um, the show, again, is October 9th in Destin, Florida. All the information is in the links. Thank you so much for joining us. This awesome meeting you. And um, you. I hope to see you guys on the road sometime. All right. Stay in touch, Chris. I appreciate you. Thank you. Bye. Ciao.